In this guide to the envelope view, we'll show you how to use envelopes to modulate parameters over time. An easy way to hear an envelope's movement is to use it to modulate a filter cutoff frequency. So we'll set channel A's wave shape to saw and activate the first insert, which is set to a low pass filter by default. Let's turn the frequency all the way up to open the filter. To bring up the envelope view, click the envelope button at the top of the interface. We can add an envelope for the filter cutoff frequency by clicking new envelope, then selecting the first insert and filter A1 frequency. Then we click add. We can see that the mode is set to sustain by default. In sustain mode, the envelope works like a typical ADSR envelope. The envelope will proceed to the sustain point and its value will remain constant from then on. When you release the note, the release part of the envelope plays. Let's turn the sustain and release levels down to create some filter movement. We can move the envelope's breakpoints at will by dragging them. Now let's play a note. We can also add or remove breakpoints by holding Command on macOS or Control on Windows and clicking the envelope. If you'd like to reset an envelope, you can select Edit Initialize to initialize it. In release mode, the envelope will simply play all the way through without remaining at the sustain level. If you release the note before the release breakpoint is reached, the envelope will move to that point, allowing you to play shorter notes. In loop mode, when you play a held note, the envelope will loop between the loop end marker and the loop start marker, represented by these hooks. You can set the loop region by moving the loop start and end markers. The re-trigger mode works like sustain mode, except that the loop will re-trigger after a number of beats, as defined by the beat parameter. This is synced to your host tempo. So, if we set the beat value to 2, the envelope will re-trigger after 2 beats. In addition to the four main modes, envelopes can be set to control-driven mode and link mode, advanced modes that we'll cover in a later video. As well as adding and moving breakpoints, we can change how the envelope is shaped by adjusting the slope of each curve. We can do this by dragging the slope control on the envelope itself. We can change a slope to a step by clicking on where it says slope. In step mode, the envelope will stay at one value before the next breakpoint. When the grid button is clicked, a grid with host sync tempo division set by the parameter to its right will appear. When breakpoints are moved near to the grid, they will snap to it. You can change how the rest of the envelope moves along with your edits with the slide lock button. If slide mode is selected, all of the following breakpoints move together with the breakpoint that is currently edited. In lock mode, you can only move a breakpoint to the next breakpoint. The move does not affect the parts of the envelope that follow the next breakpoint. Lock mode is especially useful for rhythmical envelopes, where the breakpoints are supposed to be synchronized with the beats. It's possible to integrate a low frequency oscillator in every envelope by activating the LFO button. You can change the shape of the LFO by clicking the wave shape and picking a new one from the menu. The same LFO wave influences the entire envelope. However, every breakpoint of the envelope can have different depth and speed values. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out the other Absinthe 6 videos in this playlist.